Taskmaster Minnesota. Over the last several months, six contestants have been doing my special tasks. They have no idea how the others have done, but they will soon find out. To kick things off, let's introduce these fabulous people. We've got Ben Loja. <laughs> Connor Green. <laughs> Henry Sprindle. <laughs> Matt Ferber. Engage. <laughs> and Parker was there. <laughs> and on my left, he's under federal investigation for being a real pain in the ass. And also arson, it's David Hahn. <laughs> so I've been working on some new skills. Brilliant. Yeah. Uh, I've been, uh, this week I've been doing bird calls. Um, just in case I ever need to attract a bird sure. for emergencies only, though. Sure. Okay. Yes. So here's my best loon call. Okay, ready? Okay. Loon! Loon! <laughs> I learned all of them from Pokemon, so I assume they all just say their names. <laughs> <laughs> Before we get started with the first task, can we get a serious score check? Of course. Um, in last place right now, uh, with 38 points, is Ben Wildrow. Uh, fifth place uh, with 41 points is Owen Gage. Uh, in fourth place with 43 points is Henry Sprandle. Uh, third place with 48 points, uh, he's dropped off, uh, it's Max Barber. Uh, in second place with 54 points, it's Carter Green. Uh, and in first place uh, with 60 points is Parker. Ben comeback episode. Uh, I don't know. It's just a good thing Parker did not I don't do think any of the other tasks. <laughs> I have a chance to catch up. I think Parker up. got that horrible disease and had to stop doing these tasks. <laughs> Alright, let's get on with the first task. Okay, our first task involves a very special guest. Wow, who's this handsome fellow, huh? It's like looking in a mirror. <laughs> I feel like that's some sort of symbolism. <laughs> Make Wario happy. Happiest Wario wins. You have 30 minutes? <laughs> Your time starts now. What, what does Wario want? Make Wario happy? Well, this is going to be hard. This is a this is like a stuff. You know, he's not. Never mind. David, <laughs> <laughs> what is this time? <laughs> so, just to clarify everything I know about Wario. I learned an hour ago on www.wariowiki.com. Um, so, wait, Mario or Wario? Yeah. Mario Wiki. Mario Wiki. Uh, uh, yeah. uh, backslash Wario personality. Any <laughs> fun facts to share with us? Um, he he likes uh, money, treasure. Um, he likes to win things. He's very vain. Um, he doesn't like flowers or sand. That's, that was a new one. Yeah. yeah. We're we're gonna start with. Um, uh, according to my notes here, a certified Wario expert. This is uh, Max Barber. <laughs> wow. Wow. Oh my god. I'm a little bit loose on the rules, sorry. My bad. Wow. Okay, that's definitely, that's definitely two bounces on your side. If we're gonna be honest. Wow. Or it's like Ace for you. You achieved that. <laughs> okay, so 
If I if I get the, the score here, I win. Wow! Wow! Your number one. Wow! No! Wow! Okay. Wario is the winner. <laughs> <laughs> He did win, and he does like winning. Mm -hmm. Did you let Mario win? No, he actually, Max was literally <laughs> trying to beat me. <laughs> <laughs> trying to beat Mario. Yeah, yeah. sorry, trying to beat Mario. Max yeah. was, yeah. I was, was definitely win. keeping it like a healthy competition, yeah. I would say. I thought, I, I assume Max was going to let Mario win, but he genuinely was <laughs> trying to beat Mario. I, Mario wouldn't want to win just by winning, I don't think. He wanted to be close. He wanted to feel like he earned that victory, is what I was thinking, you know. Right, but I'm, I'm not worried. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Seems like a good time for me. Let's see who's next. Okay, um, next up we've got Owen. Um, before Owen, this task he asked if Wario was a fan of parfaits, alcohol, loud noises, fire extinguishers, fire, propane, and propane accessories, <laughs> uh, pigs, and scented candles, which are all things that Owen thought uh, Wario might like. Let's see what he actually did. This would make him say a very loud one. Mm. I'll give you an example. Wow! She tried to negotiate with Wario and appeared to be losing. Yes. <laughs> it went very poorly for me. Yeah. Alright, and then Ben, I'm I'm wondering sort of what your thought process oh, was. I figured Wario would get kind of annoyed having to do this six times. So he might want to be left alone for most of it. So um I just got him a chair and then I left. And it only took like two minutes. You can, so you can tell Mario had a lot of free time. You can tell which tasks were filmed later in the day. <laughs> no! This, this is a really good idea. And also, these people all spent like 30 minutes coming up with their plan. And Mario was probably real bored during that like 20 minutes or so. Not Henry's. Henry's five minutes. Well, <laughs> everyone else's it was just sitting there bored. And this one, you just got to leave early. So. Um, right. Well, uh, 
Let's see if Blair can get any happier. Okay, we'll take a look at Carter's next. Uh, here's Carter's attempt. Hey, Wario. I got some bad news. Um, it's pretty sad, and it's just going to make me cry if I read it again. But I'm just going to give you this letter, and you can read it on your own time. All right? Stay strong. I believe in you. And, um, you know, hoping, hoping for the best in the future. All right? Stay strong, buddy. Bye. So, uh, <laughs> Carter, Carter wrote Wario a note. Uh, uh, do you want to see the note? Yes. Okay. I took a look at it afterwards, is what it said. Mario died in a horrific train accident. <laughs> it was gruesome. In his will, he has left you $30 and a pack of Thin Mints, also like a ton of gold. <laughs> Luigi also died, but that was just because he choked on a shrimp puff. Luigi has left you nothing. Also, your brother Waluigi has invited you to piss on their graves. It will be really cool. Okay, well, do you want to move on? <laughs> okay, we've got one more. We've uh, left him for last um, again. This is uh, the attempt of Mr. Parker at Boys Vert. It's got tricks. <gasps> oh. Alright. Alright. Do something magical with this deck of cards. Most magical wins, you have one hour. Your time starts now. Can I deface the cards? Yeah. Oh, I think there might be one missing though. Okay, I don't need them. I think it's this one. I'm gonna draw some artwork. Great. <laughs> <laughs> 
It's really magic thing. So I think that deck might be missing one card. <gasps> oh, <laughs> no way! How? How? So I think the deck might be missing one card. Okay. Thanks, dude. It might be missing one card, though. There you go. You're so great. <laughs> <laughs> I think the deck might be missing a card, though. Okay. okay. <laughs> Very well done, David. Okay. Love is magical. Could do something lovely. Like, hey, baby. You're making me feel why for our hearts. <laughs> Wait. So to see what direction they take this. Yeah, um, we'll start uh, then with the magical actions of uh, Owen and Carter. Oh, Owen and Carter. Welcome, welcome to this extraordinary magic show. I am the famous magician, Tim, and I am here to dazzle you with a wide variety of amazing magic tricks. Come on, come all, to see the show. <laughs> no card. His deck of cards. Okay. You take this nut card, pull it up, and do it for me. And one final thing I want to do is just double check with the cut the deck score to make sure that the card is actually in there. It definitely is, I'll tell you that much. Okay? I'll shuffle it. I'll shuffle it just for you, okay? Hope you're happy with yourself. Grow up. Come on. No. Sorry. <laughs> no. Now for a fine member of our audience, please pick a card, any card. That one? What about that? Uh, yeah. Okay, good. I wanted to. Now we may put it back anywhere you like. Now with the power of magic, I will locate your card and turn it face up. I believe it is right <laughs> That's my card. <laughs> Aren't I magical? I'm amazing. Thanks, Owen. Please give me praise. You are very magical, Owen. And now for my finest and greatest magic trick. The disappearing card trick. <laughs> where the cards go? Fantastic, right? How'd you do that? <laughs> amazing. <laughs> 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 Right here. Yeah. Are you one hundred percent sure? Right there. Okay. Take the card. Do I look at it? Yep. I won't. I'm turned around. I can't see. Well, my psychic third eye can, but I'm not looking. I promise. Okay. Okay. One of these piles has your card. One of them doesn't. Okay. Just pick a pile. Pick one of the two piles. That pile, really? Are you sure? Yes. Yeah. Okay, loser. One more time, David, I'm begging you, please, pick the right pile. You're sure? Yeah. This is the pile you want? Yeah. Okay. Now, David, yeah. in this thing, let me just... Oh. <laughs> okay, your card's definitely in here, I'll tell you that much, buddy. But how do we know? Where it is. Well, that's where you come in. I'm gonna hold the deck of cards just like this, just like this. Now I need to slap them, okay? okay? Slap the cards. Ooh. Is this your card? That's my card. Okay. Would you open the note, please? Eight of hearts. <laughs> Do you want to talk about cards first or all of you? Well, I, just, I really liked his magic trick though. Can I turn away give some accolades? I'd like to thank Megan for letting me try this trick on her like 30 times until I got it to the point where I wasn't messing it up. Every I, think, time. I think Carter's probably the only person who took like close to an actual trick. <laughs> <hour. laughs> like, kind of and lot. then I would also. Ah, oh, shoot, I had someone else that wanted me to thank. I would also like to thank David, yeah, for being a part of the trick, but also for editing out. The probably another minute where I was shuffling the cards. Yeah, it was a long, it was a long trick. It was just a long shuffling. Yeah, but he really did. Yeah, he really did do that. That magic trick. He, uh, 
there was no like um, there was no like no tricky funny move, no funny things around the camera cuts or anything. He really did the whole trick in one sitting. Mm -hmm. Um, Owens. Owen, would you like to thank Dave for doing oh, editing as I'm, well? I'm amazed. I thought it was going to be literally awful. <laughs> and it actually looked kind of good. Okay. Alright, um, who's next? Alright, we're going to look at two more. Um, these two did uh, pretty much the exact same thing. So we're going to put them together. That's uh, Parker and Henry. <laughs> uh, so I want you to choose the top seven cards from this deck in order. Top one is the Eight of Clubs. Right, lovely, the Eight of Clubs, also known as the Eight of Murder. Very dark number, very dark uh, suit. Okay. Two of Hearts. Two of Hearts, all right. Also known as the Two of Death. Very <laughs> bright. <laughs> it doesn't seem to be voting well. Good. This is not going too hot for you. All right, David, I'm going to ask you to go ahead and pick a card, any card. All right, keep that to yourself. You can show the camera. All right, perfect. Now, I want you to go and check the microwave. Oh. Oh. It's, it's the my card. That's your card. Diamond. With the Jack of Diamonds. Also sometimes known as the Murderer of Diamonds. <laughs> king of Diamonds. Oh, all right. Also known as the Murdered King. Okay, ten of hearts. That one actually means nothing. Nothing was assigned to that one. I'm gonna knock that eight. It will teleport to a space within like maybe two feet, okay? Alright, okay, well, something. Oh! Why would you look at that? The eight is right here, as it were. Wow. Okay. Oh my god. Yeah. No way. It's a red king. one. Yeah, it's a red one for the red scarf because it's a red king of diamonds. And oh, what's right there? Is that. That looks like it's another King of Diamonds, King David. Diamond. Oh my goodness. We have four kings now. Four kings now. How exciting. Wow. Well, thank you for participating in my magic trick, David. Yeah, of course. Right behind the ear of the deer. Oh my god. Would you look at that? Wow. Oh. That should have been the two. Uh, well, actually, it should have been the two. <laughs> yes, it actually should have been the two. <laughs> oh. This one? Now you're back. Yeah, I'm back. I'm back. <gasps> Look what I found underneath the house. <laughs> wow. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That's the magic. Very magical. Thank you. That's awesome. So, Parker, you just happened to be looking underneath the house and just found his card there. Well, I, I, I knew, I knew that the bottom of the house is a very like magical place. So I was like, you know what, one on one, like just check the house. I would be careful with that. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Rule number one in magic, check the house. <laughs> um, I, I'm curious, uh, these alternate names to the cards, I don't think I've heard of them before. Uh, Eight of Murder, the Two of Death. We're, we're using an evil deck of cards. <laughs> <laughs> I like Murderer of Diamonds. That was, that was a fan favorite. I, were you nervous when you found four murder kings around the house? <laughs> <laughs> if I were you, I would have been sweating. Are you, are, you, are you happy with what you did there? No, of course not. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say that um, Park, Parker's trick was um, seven minutes long in total, and I had to cut a lot of it because it was extremely boring and fast. <laughs> <laughs> Checks out. Yeah, as you might have suspected, yes, Henry um, checked which card I, I drew, and then we cut for 10 minutes while I set up cards around the house. I don't know what you're talking about. You charlatan. I'll, I'll say Parker didn't have to do that because he just gave me a deck and said, draw the top seven cards of this deck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, we're impressive. It was, it was, it was like, half the section where I was like, how did you do that? <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, next. All right, so we've seen four magic tricks. Next up, we've got Max, who thankfully um, took a different approach other than a fifth magic trick. So we'll take a look at Max's here. Yeah. 
You ready for um for a grape trick? Yeah. Yes! <laughs> I'm not gonna say anything, by the way. You're gonna have to do some wizard editing. <laughs> yeah, actually some real wizard editing. No. Yes! No. I'm saving up. All right, well, uh, that was an interesting uh, strategy. Um, I feel like all the, the failed attempts sort of brought down the, the average magic. That was what I was asking for with editing magic, <laughs> was for him to not just show all of my failed attempts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I did show all of them. That's <laughs> true. <laughs> all right, well, um, there's one left. Yeah, we've got yeah, one person excited. left. Um, ben did something a little bit different. Ben, do you want to explain what yes. you got? I decided to do something very magical, and I turned this ordinary deck into a magic deck. Wow. This would be Magic the Gathering deck. It's, it's just yes, it's a so tabletop these, or card game. Give these over we'll hand these over. I hope can, those are going to wear off. Them. So Ben turned every card into a magic card. We can take a look at some of my favorites yes. here. We've got Wrath of God. <laughs> <laughs> We've got Giant Spider. <laughs> Saying, wow, that's a big spider. <laughs> Uh, this, I, I like this one a lot. Damnation. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then, of course, uh, Bulbasaur. <laughs> um, yeah, and he, he re yeah, he took a while because he, he genuinely, I think he, he just barely made it under an hour, but he did make every single um, card unique, uh, different magic card over yes, Bulbasaur. And after this, I was real tired and did the Wario task. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I guess I have to score these. Yeah. Um, that, that they're all pretty impressed. I'm really proud I'm of everybody yeah. here. We kicked it out of I'm the not. park. I'm not. I'm not. We kicked it out of the park. Yeah, last place is going to be a tricky one this time, I think. Because <laughs> <laughs> they're all so good, right? Uh, Alright, um, so these are all very good attempts. Okay, um, yeah. So, um, last place is actually tied. Okay. Um, I have uh, Henry and Max tied for last place. Okay. So um, one, one or two points. Each. Innovation um, is never two rewarded. Points <laughs> two points each for <laughs> Max. Okay. Um, in fourth place, I had Parker. Okay. Um, I, I, I like the extra lore behind the cards. Thank you. Uh, there was so much more lore. <laughs> <laughs> there was an insane amount of lore. It, the, the, I, 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 when we saw Car Parker's, that was about four minutes in when we started. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm surprised for the um, for the lore behind the board game cast. You didn't choose the lore behind the deck of cards. Yeah. <laughs> Um, in third place, I have Owen. Um, this camera trick stuff so is very Far awesome. exceeds my expectations. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have Ben in second place. I thought it was a very cool expectation to be awesome. the first. Um, and then in first place, I have uh, once again Carter. Wow. <laughs> I should be happy, but I feel like there's going to be an, an epic failure coming soon. <laughs> <laughs> So we'll have to wait and see. We'll have to see indeed, yeah. Um, so before we do, let's have a scoreboard check. Sure. Um, all right. Uh, this is a little bit closer so far. Uh, in last place right now, four points is Parker. Um, oh. In fifth place with so five points is Henry. Uh, tied at four, fourth, third place is uh, Max and Bev with seven points each. Mm -hmm. Second place is uh, Owen with eight points. And with a perfect score so far, uh, Carter's got 12 points. Yeah. <laughs> All right, what next do you have for us? All right, we've got a team task next. Here we go. Hi, Max. Hi, David. Hi, Henry. Hi, David. Hi, Ben. Hey. Hi, Owen. Hi, David. <laughs> Yeah, you know what card the last time I, I can read the test, everything with I can read. You read this one. It's got a blindfold. That's okay. I'm you gotta wear it while you read. That's just the rules. Choose one team member to put on this blindfold right now. Then continue reading this the task. You wanna do it? I don't care. Do you want me to? So I'll put it on. Yeah. Because I'm reading. Yeah. 
a big a big dub for me, to be honest. I can hold on to your glasses if you want, honey. No, no he's good. good. Yeah, he looks great. <laughs> Ready? Well, wait. I'm guessing that the blind one has to be led, and I'm not super leady. You're so, more like a, a sheep dog. So, so you'll, okay, you'll put it on right now. <laughs> I like that rationale. Okay. Place, place and find this pool noodle across the greatest distance. The team member who is not blindfolded has five minutes to place this pool noodle, after which they must return here. The blindfolded team member must remain in this chair during these five minutes. Then the blindfolded team member has five minutes to find the pool noodle. The non-blindfolded team member must remain in this chair during these five minutes. You may not move the chair at any point during the task. The blindfold must be worn correctly throughout the task. The pool noodle that is successfully found the greatest distance away from the chair wins. So your time starts now. Okay, so basically you hide the brand new. Yeah, yeah, but I can talk to you. So you basically, I'm going to tell you how, where to, how to get to the. How to get to the yeah. Yeah. Like, is there like, a way we can get it farther? Uh, um, I will know. walk in and check, and then I'll run back well, out to you. Is there like some way we can? Wait a minute, David. David, is, is everyone gone? <laughs> what? <laughs> Okay, so just to clarify, whoever was not blindfolded had five minutes to place this pool noodle anywhere, and then the blindfold team member had five minutes to go and get it, and then whoever got it the furthest distance away is where. And I should explain that distance is going to be measured by the, the path length, how, how long it would take someone to get there um, through walking. So um, first up, we're going to see all of the, we're going to see everyone who is not blindfolded place the pool noodle. We're going to see all of them at once, where, where they put the pool noodles. Uh, do you want it to be further? Do you think you can do better than following the edging? Hey, if you just keep yelling at me, I probably could. That's true. Okay. Yeah, I'll open any doors. Are you closing that door? I don't know the coach is on. Okay, this. Uh, three minutes and points, I guess. I think this is like the furthest away. So all I gotta see is get into the door, go all the way up the stairs until you can't go up anymore. Then once you leave the stairs, you go right and go all the way down. Okay, easy. Noticed that two of the teams took quite similar path, and one team was much, much less ambitious for their <laughs> new home placement. So I, I've mapped it out here. So you can see this uh, that red star there is where the chair is, and we can see Max uh, placed the pool just across the yard uh, right there. Um, and then we can see Parker uh, went inside up three flights of stairs and then all the way down this hallway and placed it here. And then uh, ben did almost exactly the same thing, just a little bit further, <laughs> about halfway down the next hallway as well. So, um, yeah. So if, if they were to all if they were to all find their noodles, then the points would be five points to Ben and Owen, three points to Carter Parker, and one points to Henry and Max. Um, all right. Well, we'll see how it works out for the one. Yeah, teams. we're gonna go in order of uh, we're going reverse order of distance. So we're gonna start with uh, Henry and Max and then work our way up. So. Um, Here's Henry. Let's see if Henry uh, is able to find this pool noodle. Like this? I'm just trying to get as straight forward as possible. Straight forward. Yeah. And I'll tell you to move left or right if you need to. Okay. 
And I'll tell you when you're coming up to the curb. Oh my god, this is terrifying. Keep going straight. Go right a little bit. Right! A little. Yep, then keep going straight. Alright, now reach down once you find the curb. Keep going forward. Yeah, and then pass that a bit in the grass. Yep. I found it. Do I need to bring it back? Oh, don't. No, you know what? You just need to find it. Alright. I feel like I would have been terrible as the blindfolded person. I'm glad that I well, wasn't. And you were spectacular at hiding. So uh, yeah. Worked awesome. out, right? Good strategy. Well executed. Yeah. Keep it yeah. simple. We just wanted a little step up from the shoot that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. Uh, do you guys have any suspicions that you had gone by far the least distance? or? That's actually kind of what I was banking on. In my, that was my hope, was people just went really far with, okay. with their pool noodle placements. And then couldn't pull it off. Right, because, yeah. Well, we don't yeah. know yet if that strategy has paid off. Okay, so like the next like furthest right away, uh, by a considerable margin, uh, is gonna be Parker and Carter. You want to see uh, Carter try to uh, retrieve this noodle. Yep. Uh, how can, how can you tell you hit a shadow? We've got two and a half minutes left. Watching that was, was giving me so much anxiety, even though like I knew we got it. It's a shame we went a little farther. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, we'll only one left. One left. Um, here is Van Owen, and they came up with a unique strategy as well. So mm -hmm. let's take a look at how that worked out. And then if you kind of like this, like this, yeah. you can see. Yes, I can see. Okay. Okay. You have five minutes to find it starting now. Okay. Just keep going forward. Forward, a little to the left. Where's the railing? There it is. David, unlock the door. Okay, the door is unlocked. Uh, you have three minutes left. Okay, don't touch that. Don't touch that. That's the third step. Where's the door? Where's the door? I'm not in yet. I need to go through the door. Yeah, open the door that's in front of you. It's in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> I've unlocked it. It's, it's not this way, though. It is that way. It's this way? <laughs> <laughs> you have one minute left, though. I'm through it. I'm through it. This way. <laughs> Please don't die. <laughs> yeah. 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 Discord. <laughs> what? Where is it? 
Wait, is Ben still on? No, you hung up. <laughs> Fuck! Um, you, have, you have 15 seconds left, Owen. No! Five, four, three, two, one. And so I, I had no warning that the wall was no. because for, I, it took me forever to open that door. So I had like no time. Like it took yeah, Carter yeah. opened the door right away. Yeah, oh, it took two minutes. So yeah, because yeah. <laughs> it's in front of you. It's a truck. And like, yeah. Yeah. And there's just like but, yeah, I was a lot more afraid of hitting stuff. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. But I had like um, you know not any time left. Yeah. And and like okay, I just have to go oh as quickly God. down this hallway as possible. <laughs> yeah. And 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 then David started running in front of me, so I'm like, and I had Ben on video, so I'm like, I'm not gonna hit a wall. And then I just. Do you just want to watch that last clip? Yeah, I do. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! And then I then I got out. I, I should say I, I felt that maybe I should have said something. I was directly in front of Owen, and instead of saying anything, I just stepped out. Of the <laughs> Um, you have 15 seconds left, Owen. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, that was awesome. Alright, well, the ambitious strategy panned out for one team and one other team not Zero so much. points! <laughs> No points to only Ben. Uh, three, three points to Henry and Max, and uh, the winners of that task are Parker and Carter. Uh, um, so I should say that was the last of our team tasks, and Ben and Owen got a total of one point. For team tasks. <laughs> it was so because I knew it was by on one of these windows. Yeah. But oh. so Luke, who would you say is the angriest oh. of our contestants? I would say Max. Uh, he's known to suffer from bouts of heated gamer moments. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I think that's true. And so we thought it would be a good idea to give just give Max a chance to kind of vent some of his anger in a special task just for him. Uh, okay. <laughs> Hi, Max. It gets like 10 degrees hotter when you walk up to the stairs. Yeah. Okay. I was going to straddle it because I bet no one straddles it and then opens it. Completely popped this entire roll of bubble up. Fast as wings. Good times just now. Yeah, this is what I figured this was. How do you pop bubble up fast? Uh, pop, pop that entire roll of bubble wrap as quickly. It was 11 yeah. feet of bubble wrap as quickly as possible. I will say, I was on the mark that no one straddled it. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, do y'all see Max uh, pop some bubble wrap? Yeah. All right, here we go. I don't even know what the strats are for popping bubble wrap wraps. Are there any? I'm excited to find out. Yeah? If this doesn't even work. Now it's <laughs> Someone's gonna have like an actual solution to this, I think. That isn't. Is that you? 
Well, you wouldn't go that far. You wouldn't say it's me. <laughs> I was the kind of patron that would be easy to do that. <laughs> How, what's the status of the uh, percentage-wise? I think about two percent. All right. Check this out. This is gonna be awesome. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it did rip there before it popped all of the bubbles. What if I put it on the freezer? Do you think it gets cold enough that it pops? Mm -hmm. Nothing. I think there's a lot of people that say that they like popping bubble wrap. I have a hard time believing those are like real humans. Imagine. What's your per what's your percentage status at? I don't know. I'm not counting anymore. Look at how much bubble wrap this is. I have this little piece and this is going to take me like 20 minutes. Yeah, there's no stove. <laughs> I'm just, whatever, man. You don't, you don't feel any remorse? It's a very satisfying task. Oh, is it? Yeah, popping bubble wrap is. Oh, satisfying. yeah. Okay. Do they all say it's fun? Well, you know. Yeah. Um, I, I wouldn't say they all said it was fun. <laughs> <laughs> wow, it's mildly colder. Actually, it's literally the same temperature. <laughs> <laughs> Would you say this is one of your favorite tasks so oh, far? Yeah. Okay. Well, the, the really fun ones are the ones where you just want to quit, like, immediately. Those are the really fun ones. <laughs> That's how you know they're fun. Yeah. Yeah. This might be enough. You know. I might just, you know. I'm not winning this. I don't think at this point. Okay. But uh, percentage-wise, how much would you say you've popped so far? Like 40, I think. Okay. But good good fun. Really good fun. All right. Thanks, Max. Thank you. Did you have that one? Or? Did it look like I had fun? <laughs> <laughs> I, I will say, earlier in another episode, I did say something about, oh, I think I hated this task the most. I completely forgot about the bubble wrap. <laughs> I'm not, it's, it yeah. definitely just yeah. was not in my mind when I said that. I, yeah, that was not fun. Yeah, I know at the end of the day, you said, like, I liked most of the tasks. There was one, I didn't like the bubble wrap. <laughs> <laughs> so did you end up looking up those competitive strats? Or, uh, no, I didn't like anything. Wrap? Wrap? Oh. I didn't like um, so Max is pretty accurate with his guess on how much he popped. It was about, it was about 36% of the bubbles uh, popped there. He popped about four feet of the 11 feet there. Um, and he popped for 25 minutes and 34 seconds before he gave up. <laughs> so if you, had, if you had continued at the same rate, it probably would have taken about an hour and a half to two hours. <laughs> yeah. uh, you would like figure it out at the end, you know, twisting it. Pops no, but it pops like some of them, but then there's a bunch of little ones still left that you have to go back and pop individually. Yeah. Right, well, um, that's all fun. Max was right that he didn't win the task since there are no winners. Yeah, no, he yeah, didn't pop the entire world bubble wrap. True. Sure. Yeah, no points, I'd say. <laughs> Fair enough. All right, uh, well, uh, do we have another task with everyone? Yeah, we got one more task. Um, I'd say that you and this task are actually a match made in heaven. Oh. Hi, Max. Hi. It was you, and then I wasn't as excited anymore. I was hoping it'd be someone else. Okay. Sorry. Light a match. You may not leave this room. Fastest wins. Your time starts now. Well, it says there's a matchbook inside there. Matchbook? What do you mean matchbook inside here? I don't open it. That did not work. I'll tell you that much. Um... Yeah, so this task, they just had to light a match. Um, there was a match book inside um, a Rolodex, uh, but it was locked, so they had to figure out how to unlock it. And uh, the winner of today's episode will be taking home Mary the Rolodex. So, or, uh, <laughs>
done. This is me going home with that. So there we go. Okay, so yes, this is a puzzle task. Um, we're going to see Carter and Max uh, tackle the puzzle first. Here we go. Matchbox inside here. Yeah. I don't need a matchbox, David. Hopefully this will work. Okay, I do need a matchbox. <laughs> I'll just be honest. Check the light. Which light? There's like three lights. Check the light. Is it the is it that light? Check the the lighthouse? That's so weird to do. What? Check the lighthouse. It does say lighthouse. Am I missing something? <laughs> Check the light. Or Anything else? List. Listen. What's the light? There's a drawing of a house. It's all together. Check the light. Ah, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> ah, another cool. Nicolette County. Blank, blank. I don't know. Nicolette County not ringing any bells? <laughs> yeah, yeah, modern approach to evidence. What does it say? A modern approach to evidence. I don't think that has anything to do with that. Oh, here's a, here's a, yeah, I was looking for this earlier. So maybe this will help me. Is there a Nicollet County Law School? Shut up. 15. <laughs> um, 15. Nicollet County, one, two, three, four. <laughs> oh, I should have just opened it in the middle. Oh. That's, that's five. You're the cardinal. That's nine. There might be a Nicolette County related sign or something. Are there actually any options? I mean, I would assume there are, but I don't think it's that fun. What'd you find there? Nothing. Nothing important. Okay. Okay, well that was a guess. I got lucky. Oh, did you get open? Yeah. This is the only book. Wow. I think the amount of times that I walked by the Nicollet County sign is gonna haunt me, I think, for years. But yeah, good fun, good fun, good show. Thanks, Max. <laughs> it would be so hard to find a sign, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Great. Um, Carter, yeah, Carter never solved the clock puzzle, he just guessed, he got 15 and then just guessed the second half of the combination. So oh, Carter um, got a, so they, well, I guess you can judge if they did well or not. Carter took 16 minutes and 52 seconds. Um, I've, judged, I've, I've measured this in how many times you could listen to We Did Start the Choir. So that'd be 3.76 times for Carter. Uh, max 4.56 times you could listen to the song because he took 20 minutes and 28 seconds. So Carter is our current leader. Uh, I will say I did think I lost that. So, yeah, my showing was pretty pathetic. Did yeah. you think you had lost that, Max? Yes. Okay. we're looking at next. Yeah, we're gonna look at two more people uh, tackle the puzzle. Here's Parker and Henry. Dang it. Uh oh. 
do not think that this match is lightable anymore. Check the light. There's a house. Do you have a light? Uh, no, sorry. I put it in that box. I see, I see, I see. Okay. There's a light. Check the light house. Oh, that makes sense. So if there's a light house, okay, is there a light house? Oh, the lighthouse? The lighthouse? Oh, Oh, God, dude. Oh, God, dude. Oh, there's a lighthouse. Oh, lighthouse. Nicolette County. So, ends, maybe NC, question mark, question mark. North Carolina. <laughs> <laughs> trying to think of anything that has something to do with the election. Okay. I'm sure there's a actually logical way to figure that out. There we go. Okay, we can press holder. No. Or you're putting them to the lock pack. You're still wild. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna guess. You put in 9551. Oh, I see. And now I think it's a lighter match, just that it's destroyed. Oh, Lord. Thanks, Parker. No problem. Can't blow it up. Oh. Yes. There it is. We're, we're in a wooden barn. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's true for, think, for everyone. Yeah, probably. there were about 15 times where I was standing in front of that sign saying, what the fuck is Nicola County? <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it sounded like Henry had a different idea. Um, North Carolina? <laughs> yeah, you know, I uh, didn't see the sign, so <laughs> I thought that, you know, I, there was a little plan where it's so from Nicola County to NC. Yeah, but Henry did, had seen the lock and then got 15 and then right away just started brute forcing it because he realized there's only 100 combinations. Yeah. And, um, yeah, got it open actually pretty quickly. So Henry, um, yeah, lit the match in nine minutes and 51 seconds. So yeah, about half the time. Um, so how much time did Parker spend outside of the room in all the clues. Parker left the room three separate times. <laughs> <laughs> now, Parker, when did you realize you'd broken the rules? Was it not until just now? Or? Uh, just, just, I was, I was processing that statement and I was like, how did I break the rules? And then I thought back to it just until literally just now. Yeah, you weren't allowed to leave the room so far. You were disqualified from this task, but if it's any consolation, you would have come last anyway. <laughs> uh, yeah, it took him 21 minutes and 38 seconds. Oh uh, like Max. So even though he spent yeah, most of his time outside, he actually only lost to Max by one minute. <laughs> yeah. I'm really excited to see what these guys have picked up here. Yeah, it's a it's a pairing that we've often seen. Yeah, man. Okay. <laughs> Always <laughs> I'm great For at only least. good reasons. <laughs> Light a match. You may not leave this room. Fastest wins. Your time starts now. <laughs> I don't want to use a bash. Wasn't there a lighter in here earlier? Yes, there was. Fastest wins. Your time starts now. Oh, I can't leave the room. The match is right there. Not that. I'll just take the box out. Oh, good. Yeah. Okay.
in this room, I wonder? Right, right on top of the task. Oh. Oh, but there's no good way to start it. Oh, matchbox inside here? Oh, but it's locked or something. <laughs> oh, thanks so much. Is it locked? It is, yeah. Oh, I wonder how you unlock it. Check the light. Well, I didn't have to do that. I knew where the matches were. <laughs> thanks, Owen. You're welcome. Genuinely upsetting that I was the only person to do the entire puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that's what your partner did the entire puzzle too. Just I'll get it. Uh, yeah. hey, I didn't even see the puzzle. <laughs> like, I, I didn't see the box. You didn't even see the box. <laughs> <laughs> I read it. And I'm like, I don't know where my match is. So much just fucking crap. Yeah, incredible. Um, yeah. I'm interesting to see Ben completely perplexed by just a simple lighter. <laughs> It took him more time, it took him twice as long to start the layer than it did to find the layer. <laughs> that did it really well. It was, a, it was, a, it was a remarkable. I, I, so that layer was hidden in the same place where everybody was in the wood box in the corner. It was just barely visible from outside, but just barely. Um, and Max was the only one who, Max spent a little time looking for his wife, because that's why he was mad. <laughs> but, but Ben, yeah, checked where the layer usually was, noticed it was gone, straight to the wood box, pulled it out. It was incredible. <laughs> I, was, I was in shock, yeah. Just, what were you thinking? Uh, I figured that wood gets lit on fire, so it might be next to the wood. <laughs> yes. no. And also, it was a hiding spot that was nearby. Yeah, so Ben, yeah, Ben found the layer away, took a while to light it, so he um, took one minute and nine seconds. So, wow. yeah, um, would have been, and we didn't start the fire, we would have been on the word uh, Tuscanini. So. <laughs> um, and Owen, uh, 30 seconds. <laughs> didn't even get his my proudest moment of the series. <laughs> okay, so uh, no points to Parker since he left the room three times. Um, two points to Max because he was very slow. Uh, three, three points to Carter, four points to Henry, five points to Ben. Now winning that task is Mr. Owen Gates. <laughs> I'm not mistaken, that was the final task of the episode? Or does that uh, leave us in terms of the final scores? Great question. Uh, all right. Um, in last place uh, this episode uh, with n just nine points uh, is Parker. Um, fifth in a actually three way tie for third place, uh, Max, Henry, and Ben all have 12 points. Um, Owen uh, is in second place with 14 points, but with an almost perfect score at this episode. Wow. Carter is wow. 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 Here's, your, here's your prize. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you for joining us for the fourth episode of Taskmaster Minnesota. Join us next time as our contestants tackle another set of unexpected and exciting tasks. Goodbye.